hello friends so how are you so today we are solving this problem minimum difference in sums after removal of elements so we are given a zero index integer array nums consisting of 3n elements so 3n means uh, the length of the array would be always the multiple of 3 so we are all, we are allowed to remove subsequence of the element of size exactly n means any n elements from this array we can remove so what will happen once we remove n out of these 3n elements we would be left with 2n elements right so if we divide these 2n elements in the first n and the second n and if we sum all first n and sum all the last uh, n elements and if we get the difference of uh, first n minus second n okay sum of all of them there would be certain difference right that difference should be minimum we have to find what would be the minimum difference so we have to remove in such a way so we can take an example for example this is an example right so see here this is nums having six size right so what would be the n n would be six divided by three because n is the multiple of three only so n would be two that means we have to remove any two elements from this array so that let's say uh, we are removing suppose i am removing five and eight right i am removing two elements so what would be the left side sum let's say i am calling it ls so ls would be 9 plus 7 it would be 16 and what would be the right sum right sum would be i am calling rs so rs would be 1 plus 3 so it would be 4 so what is the difference so difference would be ls minus rs right so it would be 16 minus 4 so 16 minus 4 we are getting 12 right so in this way there could be multiple such combination we don't know right 16 minus 4 we are getting 12 like this so we don't know there could be multiple such scenarios let's say i'm removing someone else then this might give a difference value suppose this time i'm removing seven i'm removing seven and one more let's say i'm removing three right so what would be the now nine plus five so 14 from here and eight plus one nine from here so this time we got five right so in this way there could be multiple such scenarios so we have to pick all such n elements which will give this difference equal to minimum for example specifically for this case let's say if i remove this 9 from here and this 1 from here then what would be the difference 7 plus 5 it is would be 12 minus 8 plus 3 11 so this time we are getting 1 so this is the minimum difference we are getting out of all those combinations so we have to choose that which one to pick how we will choose all those n elements which will leads us so that our uh, first sum minus left uh, side sum would be give the difference value minimum value right so this is what we have to do now the thing is how to do that so let's bring the intuition first because anyway we want the left side sum to to achieve as the minimum and we want the right side sum to achieve as the maximum so that difference would be minimum right this is our intention now these values can come from anywhere from this array right we can remove all those n from anywhere right so because uh, this array is uh, in the length of multiple of the three right so we can always divide it into the three parts right starting from zero in this case starting from zero till n minus one right and then starting from n till 2n minus 1 right and similarly starting from 2n till 3n minus 1 these are our indexes that we can traverse through so you guys can observe we have divided it into the three part one part is here another part is here and third part is here all of them has the length equal to n only right now you guys can observe one thing here that uh, we want to keep the uh, left side sum and the right side sum after removal of any elements so our intention is we want to keep the left side sum as much as possible smaller and the right side sum as much as possible greater so that we can get a minimum difference right so what we will do is in this case to achieve this one more thing is our values could come from for, for left side it can come from here starting from 0 till 2n minus 1 and similarly for right side also this can come from starting from n till 3n minus 1 right because we don't know we can we can keep the values from here also correct so uh, we don't know so that is why we have to pick the n elements from 
starting from 0 till 2n minus 1 or for the right side elements also we can pick the values starting from here and till the very last value right so we are looking for the left sum okay so what we have done is we have created one max heap okay because we want the left sum as much as possible is smaller so that is why we want to remo remove the biggest values so this is our left sum initially it is zero so we are starting from here okay so when we are starting from here this is seven so we will put it into the max heap right we have put it here max heap what would the left sum here now it would be uh, uh, 0 plus 7 so left sum is 7 we will check that hey is this guy uh, uh, having equal to n size of this max heap no it is only 1 so we are coming here so we will add this guy so max heap so top guy would be biggest guy would be on the top so what would be the size here 9 plus 7 it would be 16 right so we will check that hey what is the size of this max heap max heap size is 2 right now which is equal to n that means this might be a one of the potential sum right so it is 16 so at the index at index i we found equal to 16 so we have created a left array of size 2n so at index i we will put here 16 okay now we are coming to this guy 5 okay next guy is 5 so we'll put this guy so 5 would we go to the bottom because this is a max heap and we will add this 16 plus 5 so what it would be its value would be 21 now we will check that hey what is the length size of this uh, max heap this is 3 which is greater than 2 so if it is greater than 2 we have to remove the top element right so i would be removing this top element this is 9 and also i will remove this guy from this sum 21 minus 9 i will do that so this would become basically uh, 12 right so we have to remove here 12 so let me make it 12 so once we have removed it then it would be of size uh, equal to n right so what is the value here 12 at index i equal to 2 so we will put here 12 right now we are coming to the this last value because our traversal for left side would be from 0 till 2 n minus 1 only right so uh, this is 8 so we will put this guy 8 right so we will put it here and 12 plus 8 it would become uh, what it would become 20 now we will check that hey what is the size so size is greater than n so we have to remove the top guy so if we remove this top guy we have to remove from sum also so this would become again 12 and the size is now n so at this i equal to 3 also we would put 12 right so we have filled the left sum similarly we have to do for the right side as well where we want to only difference is we have to instead of max heap we have to make a min heap for that so now we are doing for the right side so right side also will go only up to this this field right starting from n till 3n minus 1 right this would be the field to choose n elements for the right side so what we will do is we will starting from the very last and similar way we are initially the right sum equal to 0 then we will start to filling it so uh, how do you do that is uh, similarly we will start from here so this is 3 so we will put it into the min heap so let me put it 3 and the right side sum would be 3 now now we are coming to this guy 4 right so we will check this sum is 3 so what is the size size is min heap is 3 only so we will keep on going so we are coming to this guy so we will put it into here so top would be the smallest value here so 3 plus 1 what it would become it would become 4 right and the same way we have to keep an array like the way which we have the right so you guys can see here when our right sum is 4 we will check what is the uh, what is the size of this min heap hey this mini heap is equal to n yes it equal to n so if it is equal to n so at index 4 we got this value equal to 4 right so this is index 4 right when 1 came so we will put here this sum okay so let me put this sum equal to 4 right so this will become 4 at index 4 now we are coming to this guy 8 right so we will uh, add this guy 8 so 8 will go to the bottom right because this is a min heap so 8 plus 4 what it would be it would be uh, 12 right then we'll check what is the size of this min heap it's high its size is 3 that means it is greater than n so we have to remove the top guy so if we remove this top guy we have to remove from this sum also right so we will remove this guy 1 and also it would be 12 minus 1 so this would become 11 now and this 11 is coming from at index 3 so at index 3 I would put here 11 then we are coming to this left guy uh, 5 last guy so uh, we add it here so this would somewhere come here right in between 3 and 8 so it would be uh, like this 3 
5 and 8. Now, what would be the sum here? We added 5, right? So 11 plus 5, it would become 15. Uh, 16, sorry. So 16. Now we'll check the what is the size here? Size is greater than n. So we will remove the top guy here. Right? And the 16 minus 3. So what will be the new value? New value would be 13 here. So at this index, we will make uh, at index 2, right? We will make this as 13. Right? Remaining would be 0. Now what will happen is we will start comparing these right and left sum. So this would be look like this is our left sum and this is our right sum. What we will do is starting from here, right? Starting from n minus 1. Our n is 2. So starting from here, n minus 1. So what is the value here? This is 16. And what would be the value at, uh, so i equal to 1 we are starting, right? So here i equal to 1, what value we found? We found 16. And what is the corresponding value at i plus 1 in this array? This is at index 2. So 16 minus 13. So what is the value? So this is as of now we got 3. Now we are coming to here. This is 12. Index 2. And what is at i plus 1? So at 3. It is 11. Right? So 12 minus 3. This time. 12 minus 11. So 12 minus 11 is equal to 1. So we got a further smaller value. So 1 is as of now our answer because 3 is uh, we are rejecting now. We are coming to here. So at i equal to 3 we have 12. So at i equal to 4 what it is? At i equal to 4 it is 4. So 12 minus 4 is 8. Right? But 8 is not smaller than 1. So we are rejecting this answer as well. So we got the answer equal to 1. So this is what we have to do here. So we are... Uh, using the these min heap and max heap and uh, one extra space for this left this left uh, array is of two size two n size and this guy is of the uh, three n size whatever the index of it right because we have to take care of the indexing so let me show you my corresponding code here so see here first of all we are getting n so whatever is the length of this n uh, divided by three this nums length divided by three would be our n and n length is anyway nums dot length so now what we are doing see here first we created the left sum of size 2n right so we are creating here max heap so for max heap what we are doing this initially we put the left sum equal to 0 now we are starting from i equal to 0 to i less than equal less than 2n same way we were doing here when we started from left side from 0 till here we did 2n minus 1 right so same way we are doing here and we are uh, Calculating the first of all we are putting that value whatever is the sitting at that index we are putting into the uh, Max heap here in this case it was max heap and uh, We are uh, adding that and then we are checking uh, putting it into the left sum We are adding that value then we are checking that if it is greater than n So what we are doing we are removing the top value why top value top value would have the maximum value So if we remove it from the left sum this will try to give us a minimum from the left sum that is why we use max heap okay and if it is equal to the length of this n at that time we might have a one of the valid sum right so that is why we are putting it into left sum of that index i equal to whatever current sum we are getting similarly we are going from the right side but for right sum we have created this 2n plus 1 sum because of the indexing indexing could vary in that way so few few indexing would be sitting with the zero values but anyway uh, uh, we have to create the array in that way now we are creating this min heap why min heap because we want to keep the minimum value on top so that we can remove minimum value to keep the right sum maximum so we are starting from very last value till n just like we started from this guy 3 till this guy 5 right so same way we are doing that part of code and here we are keep on adding first of all whatever value is coming here after adding it to it to the min heap we are adding it to the right sum then we are checking that hey is it going beyond the value of n so if it is going beyond the value of n we have to remove the top element and top element would be minimum here because we want to keep right sum maximum that is why we choose min heap here so we will keep on doing and if it is equal to n then we are putting it into the right sum array right see here we, we put every value here right so in that way we will keep on doing now once we are done with the right sum and left sum filling we are see here we are starting from i equal to n minus 1 
right we you can see here this i equal to n minus 1 so we started from here because that is the first thing where our uh, our left sum would be having some value which is not zero because till here it is lesser than n so there would be no no value right so that is why we are starting from here so starting from n minus 1 till less than uh, 2n we are checking this that from left we are taking whatever is there at that index right at this index and in the right sum it would be at i plus 1 so for to compare the 16 at index 1 we are comparing with the i plus 1 so it index 2 whatever value is sitting there so uh, you can see here we have got the left and right values at i and i plus 1 and we are taking the difference of that right and we are keeping minimum so in the result we are keeping always the minimum so same way we got like minimum here we found this guy one as the minimum of the difference right so same thing we are getting that difference minimum and finally we are returning this result so let me execute this code so what is the time complexity here the time complexity is n log n because we are using the min heap and max heap okay and the space complexity is also up to o of n so let me submit this code and uh, thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there